Bitcoin extending its run higher, now topping 30,000. And it comes as Wall Street has given the sector a vote of confidence thanks to a new exchange and ETF applications. And those were coming from BlackRock, Invesco, and Wisdom Tree. But our next guest says that even though we're seeing strong performance in crypto ETFs, the flows, the flows are still lagging. Joining us now is Vetify Associate Research Director Roxana Islam in this week's ETF report brought to you by Invesco QQQ. So let's begin with the latest news here. I want to call up the Wi-Fi Interactive where I have a three-month chart of Bitcoin on the screen here. And you can see this, this down movement right here, that was actually a bull flag as part of another uh, big up, uptick here. But in the last two days, really broken up. And I would say that the stage was set technically. And then we got word of the Wisdom Tree and the BlackRock ETFs. How much, and this is for a spot Bitcoin ETF, which is different from the futures Bitcoin ETF. Is this really going to move the needle? Yeah, I mean, I think this is an exciting event, um, you know, among some of the, the the action that we've seen this year. I mean, for a while, you know, everyone was sort of looking at crypto and they weren't as interested as they were in as they were like, you know, in the pandemic. And now everyone's been talking about crypto ETF performance again this year. And, you know, if you look at some of the, the best performing uh, crypto equity, sorry, equity ETFs year to date, you know, a large portion of those are actually crypto ETFs. Um, you know, the best performing ones are, you know, something like WGMI, which is giving you 170% year to date return. But there's been that huge mismatch between performance and flows. Normally, when you see something like that, that's giving that much performance, you're going to see investor inflows, you know, and obviously a lot of that is based off of un underperformance in 2022. But it doesn't change the fact that, you know, if you're an investor and you got into this early um, this year, you would have made potentially 170% return. So, you know, there's still this huge disconnect between flows and performance. Um, and so I think investors are still shying away. But, you know, now we're, we're definitely seeing some interesting news coming here with um, some of these spot Bitcoin filings over the past couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, is, is that what's going to continue to drive the inflows? What have you seen in terms of the headlines that have particularly turned investors back to crypto after what we saw in the latter half of last year? Yeah, so I think, first of all, there's there's several different types of investors we're dealing with. You know, there was a lot of people that got into crypto during this crypto craze in 2020 and 2021. You know, maybe they were burned in late 2022, and now they're just not interested in crypto anymore. You know, they don't really care about the good news. They don't really care if there's growth potential there. They're just hands off of crypto. And then there's maybe some bulls out there who, you know, are still looking for some of that uh, exciting price action. Maybe they were sort of waiting in the headlines earlier this year, you know, waiting for something, maybe news like this to sort of boost um, the prices and sort of add to their positions. So, you know, you have to consider several things and, you know, large portion of these uh, crypto ETFs, for example, are crypto equity ETFs. You know, a lot of these are thematic in nature. So these have, you know, broadly faded in popularity. Um, people are, are a lot more into some of these large cap technology and communications names, things like semiconductors. And then from a thematic perspective, they're into, you know, artificial intelligence has been the buzzword this year rather than crypto in the metaverse. Um, so, you know, a lot of people are seeing that as something that's, you know, a little bit more tangible um, than maybe blockchain is, which is still something that you have to explain to an investor. Um, so, I, you know, I think there's several factors going into this. Um, but, you know, definitely there's still some some investor interest and investor demand when you see these uh, spot Bitcoin filings coming in. I, I want to talk about bubbles and also AI. And first, let's go to the Wi-Fi Interactive. I'm going to show everyone a 10 year chart of Bitcoin. And uh, I'm sure people here, some of us remember what happened in late 2017, early 2018. That's when Bitcoin first peaked at 20,000. That was when a company could have fixed blockchain to their name and just see a meteoric rise in their stock price. And uh, that gave way to a, another bubble a few years later. I'm just wondering where we are in the cycle here, especially with the rise of AI. Uh, is there room, is there still room to get excited about blockchain and Bitcoin and Ethereum and NFTs in the way that we did a year ago, two years ago? 
Yeah, I mean, and I think the market is still normalizing. If you, if you look at what the crypto ETF market is now, um, it's actually a lot larger than a lot of people think. There's about 25 different uh, crypto ETFs out there. And, you know, there's a handful of those futures-based ETFs, but there's about 15 of those crypto equity ETFs. And so a lot of those crypto equity ETFs, they hold very similar things, and a lot of them are very small. Only a few of those have over 100 million in assets. Um, and a lot of those are also, you know, very relatively new. They all basically launched between that time frame between 2021 and 2022. And the latest of those actually launched in September 2022. It's and it's it's been pretty quiet since then, except for a few closures. We did see about three of those ETFs close um, since 4Q22. And then also some of those crypto adjacent ETFs like NFTC, for example, which was a uh, the first NFT focused ETF. So, you know, there's been some sort of consolidation within the industry, mm -hmm. but, you know, there's still that race towards the uh, spot based Bitcoin ETF, which I think has definitely picked up with that, uh, the BlackRock filing. Um, you know, that's, that's something that is still very much in demand. And I think, you know, once one person files, a lot of people will sort of fall into that race because there's a big first mover advantage when it comes to something like a spot Bitcoin based ETF. OK, well, we are seeing a big bump, at least on this day. Roxana Islam from Vet Vetify. Good to have you on today.